I start us off every Friday, or at least have recently, with where is college game day going for week number nine. And this, wherever they go, I don't think it's going to be a bad spot this time. Like I don't, I don't think we're going to be complaining about going to Athens for the second time in three weeks. So let me give you the the options here, and I'm going to see where you think they would most likely go. All right, first one, Michigan at Michigan State. Now they have not been to East Lansing in forever. This would require Michigan to beat Northwestern this weekend, but it looks to be a battle of undefeated teams. That seems like the most likely. That that, that seemed like it to you. Yes. That is, that, is, that is the only choice I've got right now. That's kind of what I was thinking. It may not be like the most viewership of the day, but I think that that one's going to be the Fox noon kick. Well, that's the problem is do you think we're going to get it because they've yet to go to a game that wasn't on their network? Well, no, they did go to, what was it, Notre Dame, Wisconsin, which was a Fox noon kick. So there's, there's spots in East Lansing for them to do the big noon kick or whatever it is for Fox and ESPN's game day. I'm not worried about that. ESPN's just gone to some bullshit games and bullshit places because they're trying to avoid going to Fox places. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that might scare I mean, me. That's been pretty clear, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like that is the logical choice is to go there. But let's let's take a look at some of these other ones. These are all games that ESPN actually has the rights to. Ole Miss at Auburn is going to be the 6 p.m. ESPN game. Uh, that's two ranked teams. If both of them win this weekend, it should be, uh, well, I don't even think Auburn plays this weekend, but Auburn, you know, top 20 team. They hadn't been to the Plains in a while. You know, this could be an interesting one for them to actually highlight Lane Kiffin and the job that Brian Harson is doing on the Plains. So, possibly that one. I've got two other ones. SMU at Houston. If SMU can stay undefeated, uh, which we're recording this before SMU plays against Tulane, but I would imagine they'll get that done. And Houston, uh, I don't even remember who they play this week, uh, but it is, it's is—it's not something that's even worth monitoring at this point. Uh, both of those teams playing insanely well. Both will likely be in the top 25, possibly next week. Houston was just on the outside looking in. So you could have a top 25 matchup in the AAC, but I doubt that they do that one just because of the other big-time matchups. The ABC game next week is Penn State at Ohio State. Now, can you... Yes, you can justify going to Columbus because they love going to Columbus. But is there a way to sell that over Michigan, Michigan State as being a bigger game because it is two higher ranked teams? Yeah, I mean, that that wouldn't surprise me if they choose that just because they don't care that they've already been to Columbus. And and both those teams are bigger. I think more fan bases right now. And, and would you know they're going to get a bigger number that way, but I don't think that's the right decision. I don't think so either. I my where I would go would be East Lansing, regardless of whether it's a noon game or not. But I I could totally see them going. You know, I I, I could see them moving this over to uh, Columbus. So so that'll be that, that's my guess is it will be in Columbus because it is the ABC game, uh, and that way you know Kirk can just stay right there and it's no big deal. But that, at the moment, you've got Michigan and Michigan State, which is number six against number nine. And Ohio State is number five against Penn State, number seven. So you can sell it as higher-ranked teams and whatnot. And, you know, we, we understand how networks work. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.